Today's video is all about b and I'm actually surrounded by bags from my recent haul. So this is all of the shopping that I've actually bought recently, bags around me from B&M, B&M Essential, B&M Best Buys, things in the sale. So I'm gonna share with you everything that I bought on this haul just short of 125 pounds. So let's get straight into the video and find out what I've bought on this B&M haul. So hi everyone and welcome back to another video. As I said, this video is all about B&M Essentials and Best Buys, things that I've got in the sale. So I'm gonna dive straight into the first things that I've got. I'm gonna start with some bigger items, sale things, things that are just not something that I'd go buy all of the time from B&M, just things that I've actually picked up that I think are a really good buy or just a really good idea. And then I'm gonna to get to some smaller bits. I've definitely bought treats from B&M, but there's still some things in there for me. So some healthy type of treats as well as just treats generally. Um, I don't really go to B&M to buy really healthy food, I must admit. So there's food related things, there's homeware things, there's a couple of things for Emily for school. There's some really good homeware things right now in B&M that are things that I've thought about before. I've seen other YouTubers use them and think, do you know what, that's such a good idea, I'm gonna go buy that and then I never do. But today in this haul, I'm gonna show you some things that I've actually specifically gone and purchased based on other people that, you know, other people that have bought these type of things and I just think they look really cool and hopefully really good gadgets. So I'm gonna get to them as well. So the first items that I've bought are things, as I said, are either things that are in the sale or just really good bargains that I wouldn't normally just go and buy as more one-off purchases really. So first of all, I'm gonna start with probably the main item that I've got the most money off in terms of in the sale. So I've actually bought, the bag's gonna collapse there. I was trying to not make loads of noise in terms of the bags, but anyway. The first item is this Beldre, I think that's how you pronounce it, Steam Surge Pro Rose Gold Special Edition Steam Iron. I think this looks incredible, amazing. So on Amazon right now, this is pretty close to 50 pounds. I think it might be 49, and it was 49 as the retail price in B&M. But last night when I went to b and I actually got this for £25. So I thought this is an incredible buy. So I desperately need a new iron. Mine is definitely on its way out. It's a really small iron. It's not been that great. And I've just been saying to myself for quite a few months, I need to buy another iron. So while I was in there, I didn't purposely go in for this. As I say, I just saw it in the sale. Um, it just looked really, really good. It does look quite big and bulky, I'll be honest, but um, you know, hopefully I'll get on with it okay. I've never had this sort of iron before in terms of you know the big sort of area here. Um, obviously I've used steam irons, but not this particular style. So hopefully I get on with it okay. Comment down below if you've already got it and you won it and what do you think to it? You know, if you've already bought something like this. But as I say, I think this is an amazing buy, 25 pounds instead of 49. So that's definitely my star buy at the moment in B&M. And I say with it being like a rose gold, um, special edition type of thing, I just think I just think it looks really cool, doesn't it? It looks like the part of an iron, rather than like a lot of bright colors that you get on iron sometimes and things that just don't really blend in. Not that it has to blend in, but you see what I mean. It doesn't really blend in with your living room and places that you iron. So I just think this looks the part and definitely lots of money off it. So yeah, £25 for that, super bargain. I just felt it necessary to actually tidy up around me. I've moved the bags off the sofa. I must admit, I would never normally put lots of bags on the sofa, but I did it so that you could all see around me all of the bags that I bought um, because I don't like really doing that. You know, I like bags to be on the floor. So just to make it tidy now, I've moved them out of the way. So my next star buy, I think these are incredible. I can't wait to use them. I mean, I don't know why I'm getting so excited about floor mats, but I am. These were only five pounds and I just think they just seem really, really good. Um, I actually put one of them on the floor in B&M because it does say like anti-slip, etc., and it's got like a rubber on the back of it, a pretty standard mat, if I'm honest, a pretty standard floor mat. But when I put it on the floor, you've, your foot really doesn't go anywhere on the mat. It really does seem to be an anti-slip. So I think these will be perfect because I've got a wood floor in my hallway and in my kitchen. And I wanted to have two mats to obviously come into the house, you know, wiping your feet, etc. Obviously, you can wipe your feet outside. But I like to have something inside as well. <clears throat> or something potentially just to put shoes on when you come in. 
So I just thought these were really good. And I like the design of them as well, because often with floor mats, don't you find that a lot of them just look a little bit ugly and not really that nice? And ones that can have a nice design like this are either usually really expensive, um, or two, you would just have to keep replacing them. They're not necessarily washable these are so these are machine washable as well so they do actually seem pretty thin and um, so they'll, they'll be perfect to go in the washing machine so they say traps dirt and dust protects floors anti-slip backing multi-purpose hard wearing and machine washable that's all the things on the uh, tag there so five pounds each i've got two of them and as i say i'm really excited i know it's a bit boring I'm excited about floor mats but um, i've been wanting some like this for ages so when i spotted these in b&m i thought perfect so i'm a little bit late to the party with this next item well actually items because i bought more than one of them so yeah a bit late to the party for definite lots of people have been raving about them for quite a long time and that is a lazy susan you come across them yourself i mean i have come across them in other people's videos and just generally when i've been in shops i've noticed them and i've just thought oh, i'm not sure that i would even use them for anything what would i put in it etc but do you know what they do seem to be a really in thing quite a trendy thing to actually have right now they seem pretty cool so what i've got this one for and um, this was eight pound and i'm going to come to the next one in a minute and um, that's actually a completely and utterly different type of lazy susan different design and everything about it so this is all clear um obviously transparency you can get to everything and see everything but this is going to be for Emily's room to put her sort of toiletry things makeup bits just bits that she has currently in an old style um storage type of thing in her room right now we are doing Emily's room right now so in all honesty she's going to be in another room and she's going to have all different furniture and bits and pieces I think we did say that last year but we have been slow slowly going slow progress on it unfortunately um so she's in a smaller room and she's just got some of the bits and pieces that are quite old and I wanted her to have something new and to put in a new room if she wanted to if she doesn't want to use it in a new room she doesn't have to because I could potentially use this in the kitchen or I could use it in the bathroom for all of our family toiletries and things in drawers so I'm going to just see how she gets on with it and I might go buy lots more because I have lots of different shapes and sizes in all of these Lazy Susans so yeah I'm really pleased that we bought this um I mean I just hope it's going to be as useful as what lots of other people say they are and fits lots in and things but um eight pounds it's not a lot to lose is it if you decide to change your mind so i've got this one and then i got this one which is more of a kitchen one it's quite heavy but oh the design looks absolutely incredible love this so i think these are quite new out this particular range with like the lemons and the blue design i know they have like a picnic basket and um cooler bag lots of different things in this particular design so it is quite new in to be an m certainly for the summertime eight pound again same price as the other one but as i say a completely different style lazy susan um so it's on the runners underneath you just literally spin it like that and what i've decided to use this for in all honesty, when I got it home last night, I thought, oh, it's definitely going to fit in this particular cupboard or this cupboard. No, it doesn't. This is way bigger than you actually think it is, the circumference going around it. But I have got bigger cupboards, so I'm going to just organise all of my kitchen cupboards so that this can go in one particular cupboard. So watch out if you're buying things like this. They are a lot bigger than you think. But I'm going to actually put spices and herbs and things on it, as I say, inside one of my cupboards, um, so that I can spin it round and get to what I need to get to quickly without, at the moment they're up high and I'm having to reach up to get them and, and they can never find anything, you know, when you look into the back of the cupboard and then you're knocking everything over. So I thought this was a really good idea to be honest, but as I say, the cupboard I wanted it for, it doesn't fit. So I'm just gonna have to redesign things a little bit, but it doesn't matter. My kitchen needs a really good organizing anyway. So I'm gonna try this out quite soon with herbs and spices because I thought if it was really good, I might buy a second one to put other bits and pieces on. So I just thought the design was beautiful. And again, for eight pounds, you're not losing a lot if you decide to change your mind. And because of this lovely design on it i don't think it's meant necessarily to be inside cupboards i think actually you could use it for in the middle of a table to put bits and pieces on and things you know for dining sort of purposes i think that would be perfect or even on a kitchen side on the top of a worktop with things on it as well and um, but i don't think that would really go on my units i think i definitely prefer it for something inside cupboards and as i said because you can spin it around and get to things easy so yeah, I'm loving all these gadgets. I mean, hopefully they work. Um, but yeah, both of these were £8. I'm really pleased with these purchases. I actually got this next item completely stuck in the carrier bag, so I've had to rip it open 
never mind. Now, I don't condone buying lots of plastic bags, but I will be honest, um, I forgot to take my reusable bags with me. So the big reusable bag that I bought from B&M, I'll definitely use again. And these are the carriers. They're not great, are they? But I will try and use them up for something else. But usually I do take large carriers everywhere I go when I know that I'm doing a big shop but I just forgot yesterday. Completely forgot to put them into my bag, but never mind. So just a one-off everybody, in case anyone doesn't agree with carrier bags. You know, I don't necessarily, but you know, sometimes if you forget things, it's how you transport everything, isn't it, around. So I got this, which as I say, got nicely stuck into the carrier bag. So lots of people have things like this, and I must admit, again, I've just been a bit late to the party, never bothering. I just stacked my plates up and bowls in my cupboards and never really thought about it anymore. Um, but I thought I'd just give these a try. So these are ones that fit into the corner, and you can obviously stack your plates or bowls or whatever onto them. So I'm going to give one a go, and then I thought, if they work, and if I think, yeah, they're perfect, they fit my cupboards really well, um, because I think the design of them, the colour of them will go beautiful with my cupboards. So if these do work out, I will definitely head back to B&M and get some more. I'm not even sure whether you'd be able to use them maybe for tins and things, and I'm not sure. They do have some other stacking type of things for tins where you can put some tins and then you sort of stack them behind and stack them behind. That seems a really good idea as well. So I'm looking into all of these different storage things, things just to make your life easier, things that just look good in your kitchen or your bedrooms and things. So yeah, I thought this would be really good. How much was this? Five pound. So yeah, it's classed as a cupboard organiser. Now this is white, but if I'll be honest, my kitchen is predominantly cream and this does look more like an off-white cream. Um, so this is a corner space saving one. I think they had some other ones as well. So for £5, again, a really good bargain. All of these things would definitely come under sort of essentials and best buys from B&M because really a lot of these items really not costing that much money. And another homeware item, a little bit boring, but you know, I can't resist something that's a true bargain. £3.50, £3.50 for a large ironing board cover which is actually um, adjustable so it should fit really any ironing board really um, and I desperately needed one because I've got massive holes in mine so I thought £3.50 is a really good bargain. I'm pretty sure in the past I've paid quite a lot of money for an ironing board cover. Granted it might not last very long, I'm not sure but I, don't, I do really try now, to, even though I've bought an iron obviously, um, but I do try not to iron as much as I used to. Anyone else do that? You know, years ago, did you iron an awful lot? Like, literally every week or every so many days, ironing and ironing and ironing, because I know that that's what I used to do. Whereas now, I really try to cut it down and keep it to a minimum. Anything that just doesn't need ironing, that's it. It gets folded and put away or hung up. Um, so I do try to keep it to a minimum, because it used to be something I didn't mind doing, but now, yeah, I'm not, I'm not really bothered. I've just got so many other things that I could be doing rather than ironing. But I don't mind doing a little bit of it. If I'm chilling and watching YouTube or whatever on the telly, then, you know, I don't mind doing it. So ironing board cover there with my new iron. Perfect. I'm all set up to do probably the two hours of ironing that I've got left. Sat right there looking at me in the conservatory that I haven't done yet. Some more kitchenware things, cutting mats, so pretty much like chopping boards, but they're just really, really thin. I don't know if the video will make it out how thin they are, um, but they've actually got more like a rubbery back to them and then just a cutting mat, pretty much. Um, so I do have different chopping boards at the moment, you know, like the different colour ones for different things, but they're quite small. They are quite plasticky and just small and a lot of things can kind of roll off them because there isn't much space on them whereas these seem really good in terms of the space. I'm a bit worried because of the thinness because I'm thinking you chop something on it will it go through into your work surface but they seem to suggest that everything you know seemed pretty good in terms of anti-slip, you won't blunt your knives, um, odour resistant and obviously different colours to prevent cross-contamination. So obviously you use different things for different um, items, which I would do anyway. But the other thing that I thought as well, because currently my, my chopping boards are all different colours, like red and bright green and, you know, bright colours that I'm not really that bothered about. I'd much rather have more neutral colours in my kitchen. And I think these are just perfect. So I think they've done that really well in terms of a sort of like sage green and neutral colours and £3.50. I mean, £3.50, you've got to give things like this a go, haven't you? Definitely. So yeah, I'm hoping that these will be really good. And still on sort of kitchenware, the old kitchenware that I've got left, 
pretty much, yeah, kitchenware, homeware type of things. So I've got these dip pots, that's what the class does, dip pots with lids, two pounds. Now I have bought so many of these before, well I say so many, I've still got them. Um, I just find them so incredibly useful. Now, when they say dip pots, I mean, I just use them as little snack pots or when I've opened something and I only need something really small to put it into, whether it be in the fridge or in the cupboard, I use these. Emily's been using them in her pack ups for ages. So if I want to give her, most days, I tend to give her either one of these pots with a bit of salad in, um, you know, just sort of cucumber, tomatoes, etc., just chopped up, or a little bit of fruit, strawberries, grapes, whatever. Um, so they're perfect for that. For me, on the go, when I'm at work, pop these in my bag, um, or even if I'm just out shopping or whatever, you know, pop little snacks in there. So these are absolutely brilliant. So whether they be for an adult, as I say, like working things, or in the home just generally, um, or for children, you know, in pack ups, I think these are an amazing idea. So these are two pound, and I love the sort of pastel feel colors to them. I just think they're really good. Um, all my kitchen is more like pastels, you know, creams and things. And I do try to get as many things as I can in these pastel colors. So two pound, brilliant buy for these. Something that I've never ever thought of, and I don't know if this is really new or whether I've just, it's been around a while and I've just missed it, but silicon cleaning pads. Now I am assuming that these are to clean pots with because it says bacteria resistant, no more smelly sponges. So it means you use these instead of existing sponges. So these were only priced at two pounds, so I thought I'd give them a go. So as I said, I'm gonna try to use them, not sure if that's right, but I'm gonna try to use them instead of scour pads that I use. We don't have a dishwasher, don't want one. I'm more than happy washing up. Don't mind washing up, um, although I try and get Emily's dad to do it as much as I can, if I can. Um, but I cook a lot, so you know, that's where it evens up and I clean and I do a lot of the other gardening things, so, you know, it's not too bad, is it? But instead of the scourers, you know, sort of the ones that, you can get ones that are non-scratch, etc. but some of them are just not that good, and I've tried quite a few different types recently, and I've not been impressed, really, with any of them, and I always go back to the sort of the cheaper ones, but I find that I'm constantly throwing them away, and I just think it's such a waste, it's not really that good, is it, for the environment, and things such as that, so things like this might be perfect, because then you can just wash them out and reuse them a lot of times, so a three-pack silicon cleaning pads, two pound, so I'm going to give them a go, and then a couple of things that I got, again, just for the home, um, I just thought this was a really nice design, I mean, you know, all of these things might not be as great as what they look, but £4 for a dustpan and brush seems a bit of a boring item. But you know, like dustpan and brushes, usually, they're, I mean, you can get pastel colours and things, but usually sort of the, the really good makes out there that you can get of them. They're always really bright colours, they don't go with your kitchen, they don't blend in with any sort of decor that you've got. And I just thought this was actually really, really nice. It actually says natural home, the video definitely won't pick that up because it's really small writing on the um, handle so I won't even try but a lovely wood handle nice um, bristles on the brush and just a lovely plasticky um, dustpan £4 which I thought was brilliant value so I'm going to give that a go I just think that'd be really great just for getting little bits and pieces up and it'll go more with decor in the house rather than the bright red branded one that I've got right now and then another thing I got in the same sort of range the natural home I don't know if this is going to work for my blinds but um because it seems to suggest the other ones that go that way whereas I've got ones that go that way but I still think it would probably work um it's a wooden handle blind duster so I do have some sort of microfiber blind duster things that you just sort of go up and down to get all the dust and everything but I thought this seemed a really good idea so they're sort of like bendable um, I don't really know how it works. I'm assuming you just go up and down the blind like you would with a microfiber one. But I love the wood handle, so again, sort of matches in with all that theme. They had quite a few other things like brushes and um, big brushes, little brushes, all different sort of homey wear things with these wooden handles saying natural home on them. So I think that's really, really good because all of these type of things definitely look way more expensive than they actually are. £3.50 for that. So yeah, another great bargain. So are we ready for all the treats that I bought in B&M? As I say, I'm not condoning buying lots and lots of treats because, well, in all honesty, there isn't lots and lots of treats in here. There's just quite a few things, mainly for Emily, as I say, but some things that are a little bit more healthy for me. So definitely stay tuned. It's not all really bad things. And some things are just really good buys. And some things that I buy more regularly for Emily um, or ourselves. So you can just get to see the types of things that we buy, little treats and things that we eat as well. So we went to B&M. It was me and Emily that went to B&M uh, yesterday. Now, already, 
pack it up and yeah she had these this morning for her breakfast so you know I didn't even manage to get to filming the haul before everything was open I wasn't sure how much these were actually some of these bits and pieces in here I'm going to end up having to um pause the video I think and try and find a price let me have a quick look uh, £1.69 £1.69 for these cereal packs she didn't really need them we have proper big containers that we put cereal into you know plastic ones with lids and things which are brilliant um, but she was like no these take me back to my childhood please can I have them so I bought them for her why not so just some little cereal boxes Emily's not the only one that decided to open things last night it wasn't last night actually it was this morning for me these Starbucks um, coffee pods because we actually run out of coffee pods for our Nespresso machine never tried these before until this morning really good I really like them so these are just the vanilla ones and I think these were £2.89 so pretty much the going rate really for Nespresso pods so yeah definitely highly recommend these they're quite mellow in terms of the coffee not really strong but really nice sort of vanilla flavoured so first First, I'm going to share with you some treats that I've not seen anywhere as yet so I don't know if they're absolutely brand new or they've been out a while and I've just missed them and not seen them so forgive me if they've been out a while but I've not seen them anywhere so starting with some new twirls so an iced latte flavoured twirl and a honeycomb sundae flavoured twirl so these were a pound an item they usually start off at a pound each don't they and then they start sort of doing them in multi-packs and things so obviously I'm on quite a strict regime at the moment where I'm really trying to be good and not eating chocolate there's something I'm going to try in a minute though I'm not going to try these on camera and um, me and Emily might have a little taste try at some point at another point when we just chatting to you about something um but ice latte and honeycomb flavor out right now so they seem really different i'm really excited to try the ice latte because i really like coffee i mean i like coffee anyway but i really love coffee flavored things and um, so yeah really excited to try these so i set a pound each for these but the thing i was really excited about has anyone seen these before turkish delight orange flavor oh my word in fact do you know what i've been so good incredibly good i've lost quite a lot of weight recently i just want to try one of these i could just cut it off i think i'm just going to bite a little bit off i'm not going to eat the whole thing everyone so no one panic i'm not going to spoil all my uh, i'm not going to call it a diet but <clears throat> i've not had any chocolate so i've not had chocolate for a while so i'm gonna definitely enjoy just a little bite of this so i just want to taste try it for you all let you know what it's like does anyone else love turkish delight because i do and the fact that it's an orange flavoured, I've just dropped some on the floor now. The fact that it's orange flavoured, I just think definitely. So I'll give the rest to my husband. Emily won't like it. She doesn't like Turkish Delight. So I'm going to go in with a taste try. I feel like the chocolate's melted a little bit, if I'm honest. But anyway. Sorry, you can eat, hear me eating. Mmm. That's good. Is it as good as a normal Turkish Delight? Probably not. Turkish Delight is just so unique, isn't it? The rose one, you know, the normal Turkish Delight they've sold for years. But I've never seen an orange one. I do really like it. I really like it. I'm going to give the rest of it to um, Emily's dad to try because he really likes Turkish Delight. Well, then I'm not being too bad, am I? If you like Turkish Delight, I think you'll definitely like that. So I do recommend it. But it's just not got the edge of the normal Turkish Delight. On the subject of new chocolate items, um, now these are definitely going to be saved for a massive treat night. Not something I'm going to have anytime soon because I'm trying to lose as much weight as I can. So these are going to be... A real pain being in the cupboards um, unless Emily eats them quite quick. Oh look at these everyone, oh, look, oh they just look amazing. So these are brand new things from um, Cadbury's Dairy Milk but I don't think these are brand new, I have seen these in the shops and these are actually quite cheap really, £1.89 for these big bars so it's actually 180 grams in them. I've definitely seen them other places way more expensive than B&M so it's definitely a place to go to get things like this a bit cheaper. B&M or Home Bargains for that matter but B&M for definite is somewhere that you can just get these type of products just a lot cheaper than a lot of supermarkets and things not for everything not absolutely every item um, but when I want to sort of stock up on treats and little bits and pieces for like Emily's pack ups or just treats and bits and pieces to have in the cupboard um, I definitely would head to B&M just because I just think everything you're going to get you're likely to get it cheaper than supermarkets this one is a nutty proline crisp 
And it's, oh yeah, it's dairy milk and more. That's what they're called. I thought it said s'more. Shows how much I was reading. Uh, but yeah, a nutty praline crisp and a caramel nut crunch. Oh, they're making my mouth water just even watching, looking at them. They're definitely put away for a treat night, but I will definitely enjoy having a little bit of that when I want to have it. So I think that's the main thing that I've been trying to do with my diet plan recently. If you've not seen my recent couple of videos that I've put on the channel to do with my weight loss, my three day fast, healthy eating, go check them out. All things to do with, as I say, me losing weight quite recently. And I've got lots more things like that coming up as well. Just something a little bit different. And I bought these things for Emily for like Christmas presents and things before. Really good. Um, but I've not seen this particular flavour. So these are the Bubbleology. Um, but this is the brown sugar milk bubble tea. So you actually make your own bubble tea at home. I've bought Emily kits bigger kits and things where you put everything together at home and she's really loved things like that over the last sort of couple of years but these sort of sachet things are just a really good idea but i've never seen the um the brown sugar milk one so i've actually bought two this is two pound 30 so i thought one day we'll get a big bag of ice in and have a go at making these for definite so as i said these are a really good bargain with them being obviously a branded thing and just something quite cool for either younger children or teens to do or just for yourself why not on the subject of losing weight, one thing that I am definitely going to start to introduce into my diet, because I've not really had treats at all, as I said, apart from that first little mouthful of Turkish Delight, which did actually taste really nice. Um, but what I do tend to do when I'm cutting down a lot, but trying to still have little treats here and there, is buy really little miniature version of chocolate things. So it gives me a little bit of something sweet, but it doesn't make me massive amounts of chocolate or biscuits or whatever it's just like a little something of sugar so little things of buttons little um, milky bars and also some Cadbury's Freddos so love things like this and all of these items are anywhere between one pound and one pound 25 and they're just perfect because they're just a little bit of sugar aren't there that I mean there certainly is enough you know you don't need massive bars of chocolates and things and um, but I just find things like this are really useful if you're definitely cutting down with your weight but I've not introduced them yet but I bought them in ready because I will start having just little treats here and there and then they're in the cupboard I say in the cupboard already because Emily's definitely going to take them isn't she before I get a chance to more than likely but with her not being at school now she probably won't use as many things like this in pack ups etc but then she'll probably just eat more things out of the cupboard just generally, won't she? But never mind. So I might get a look in, but I might not. Never mind. Um, skinny bars are something that I buy um, quite a lot. Now, I haven't been having these recently, I must admit, since, you know, really cutting back with my food. Um, I've been trying to have fresh and healthy foods and not relying upon snacky things that are in, you know, packets and bars and things but I've got these in ready because I do as I said I have bought skinny bars for quite a long time so I've got a mixture here that were three for three pound I think mint and dark chocolate really like them ones the rocky road I actually really like the fruit and nut ones but they didn't have them and then the millionaire shortbread so I do think they're a good idea just to have in again something just sweet maybe after your tea etc and then you're not having something big it's a really good plus point they're really high in fiber as well so actually you know they're not bad and then i bought these cadbury's delights these are soft nugget bars hazelnut flavor and caramel emily really likes these type of things i think it was a different flavor that she liked the best but i decided just to get these in the cupboard for me and emily's dad again if we're cutting down but we just want something as a bit of a treat just to have in so i think they do the orange and caramel ones in that design as well i think these were just a pound if i'm honest emily would not be emily everyone if she didn't have a fascination and absolute obsession with doritos comment down below does anyone else have an obsession with doritos i must admit prior to me cutting down with a lot of my food i was starting to get a little bit obsessed with them as well so i don't think she's had these ones before the thicker and crunchier paprika ones so i think these are one pound fifty i'm pretty sure yeah one pound fifty for the doritos and then she really likes these um i'm not as keen they're quite strong actually the crinkles oven baked cheese and onion 129 they're perfect for sort of like pack up ideas and things but she wanted to get these few snacks for herself anyway some little sweeties i did say to her i don't want you buying lots of sweets make it small so to be fair she just bought a little pack so that's quite good so 59p for those and then she got a range of all different chocolate bars ranging from bigger chocolate bars to little chocolate bars so lots of different things 
Um, these are for her, by the way, and they are going to last a long time. And the little things would be okay for us if we wanted treats. So this is to last quite a long time. We've literally got empty cupboards at the moment with treats because I purposely tried to empty as much treats out of the cupboards before I really started kicking in my healthy eating because there's nothing worse than trying to do that, going to the cupboards and finding all these treats. So we've just been buying little bits for Emily as we go along for pack-ups and after a tea and things like that. So really trying to cut down with the treats. So now the cupboards can be stocked again. So she's got plenty of things as and when she needs it. Lion bars are white. These are actually really good, these white chocolate ones. I've had these before. I think these were a pound. Rocky bars for 70p. I think things like this she probably will save probably for pack-ups for school and things just so she's got things in. Gold bars for a pound. They're actually one of our favourites. I remember these years and years ago. I do like them. Um, these are more for treat nights really um, for like when we have films and things like that so you know I might be tempted by a couple of little Oreo bites why not £1.50 for them some Galaxy Ripples again for a treat night £1.35 and some Flakes £1.45 I think I've got that right so obviously I'm not condoning she eats all of those all in one go over a short period of time for definite they're definitely going to last her because I'm sorting my cupboards out at the moment in the kitchen it'll definitely be nice to have little baskets full of different treats and things so that everything's sort of stocked up in the cupboard as and when she wants it and as and when we want to have a treat because I definitely deserve to have one after my you know strict regime of really cutting back on my food recently so I'm definitely going to have little treats when I want to have them and then Emily absolutely is obsessed with these and I must admit if I'm honest I think I really like them as well caramel waffles so these are <clears throat> there's a certain make um a certain brand of them I can't remember what they're called you'll all know at home um but they are quite expensive the Stroop something or oh, can't remember anyway these are just a copy of them £1.19 I'm pretty sure she opened them last night as well it could have been this morning I'm sure there was two more in there just a few bits that I actually bought for Emily obviously she was with me in B&M so she picked these bits and pieces for herself first of all a little bit disappointing because Emily said mum can I have some of that dry shampoo that we've used before it's a different uh, fragrance but this one um, is the one that we've used before I say we I've not actually used it I don't tend to use it at all um, but Emily really swears by it she really likes it so dry shampoo £1.89 the only problem is they put two through at the till and I only bought one it does happen doesn't it sometimes it's just a bit annoying when you look at your receipt and you think yeah but I didn't buy that I only bought one and it was too late I'd already gone out I'd already you know started my journey home so I didn't bother going back in to query it but it is a bit annoying when that happens but yeah Emily really likes that dry shampoo and then I got her a few things to do with school so I know we're a little way off because we've got some holidays now but I'm trying to buy little bits and pieces so any of you out there that have got children teens and you know they're obviously going back to school in you know five six weeks time or whatever um definitely a top tip is buy little bits and pieces when you see them i mean it's a little bit difficult because sometimes you buy too much too soon they see more things and you buy more things and then you spend more money however if you're quite strict with them in terms of is that definitely what you want and then you can't pick anything else after you've chosen it kind of thing then at least you've got them and I obviously Emily's older so she's a teenager she can do most of that herself but we're starting to go through a bit of a list of all of the things from clothing to stationery bags shoes anything that she needs for school so that I can just keep buying bits and pieces and when we do our next big shopping trip which is coming up really soon because we're going away um not the summer holiday that we're going away that's coming up really soon as well but we're actually going on a shopping trip just me and Emily I'm going to hopefully get lots of school bits um in that as well for her uh, in that shopping trip but I picked up a few bits from B&M which I thought were really good so I got um, just a bit boring first of all a one pound bendy ruler it splits in the middle so it can fit in your pencil case which is good um, highlighters anyone else have children teenagers grandchildren out there that are obsessed with highlighters and at every given moment Emily's saying can I have these highlighters can I have these highlighters and I bought you some the other week but anyway, and they're not cheap, are they? You know, unless you buy cheap makes. Um, but Emily said, this is obviously the branded make. Um, Emily said, these are really good. And from a lot of places, they seem to be quite expensive. And these are £4, which I didn't think was that bad at all. Um, but yeah, she does seem to go through highlighters quite a lot. She loves all the pastel range. So in all honesty, you know, that's sort of what she likes. And then we went for this pencil case which I thought was really cool. Um, just a really pretty design. It doesn't look that cheap or anything. It was £4. So I don't think it's absolutely, it's not like it's a pound or anything like that. Um, but it is still really cheap in comparison to ones that you'd maybe get in WH Smiths or you know anywhere else that you're spending a little bit more money on. So she's quite good as Emily. She does look at the value of things in terms of 
you know, we've, we've had more expensive things before. They don't always last any more than some of these cheaper things. And let's face it, they get in the school bag, they get ink all over it, looks a mess, doesn't it? And usually you end up having to replace them anyway. Um, and as I say, she's quite good. You know, she will look at just things that she actually likes rather than how much they are. Um, although I can't say that for a recent request for a certain hoodie. And it's not a primer, could everyone? So anyone who's been with us for a while, you know, it's sad times because now I'm only joking. Next time we go to Primark, Emily will definitely be wanting to probably have a hoodie. I'm not, I'm not saying she's not buying Primark hoodies anymore, but she's got her eye on something else, which is more expensive. But I think that's definitely going to be a treat or a Christmas present for definite. But yeah, got all this sort of stationery bits and pieces for her. And as I say, the dry shampoo, even though I only got one, not two that I've been charged for, but never mind. So yeah, some really good bargains right now in B&M. I really, really hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope it's been just fun um, listening to all the bits and pieces that I've bought, whether it be the homeware, and the food and things like that. So I really hope that you've enjoyed it. Definitely subscribe to our channel if you haven't already to see lots more videos just like this one in terms of hauls, do lots of Primark and other hauls as well. So next week, what's actually coming up is there is gonna be another haul. I'm not gonna say where for, it's not Primark, it's definitely somewhere else, but there's definitely gonna be more Primark coming up really soon. Me and Emily are gonna go somewhere in the UK and do some shopping and things. There's definitely more Primark coming up. But next week, it's a haul for somewhere else and there will be a weigh-in for me with my weight loss and exercise. So what do I do for exercise? What are the workouts? I'm gonna share all that with all of you. So I really hope you've enjoyed today's video. As I say, subscribe if you haven't already, just to really be a part of the Brownie life and obviously watch all of our videos here. Put the notifications on so you get to know every time we post another video. Um, but generally, I've been trying to really stick to the routine of Wednesday at four o'clock and Friday at five o'clock. So definitely join me there for the next set of videos next week. Give this video a really big like because then at least I know that you're enjoying this type of content. And definitely drop us a comment in terms of this haul for B&M. You know, what do you go to B&M for? Is there a certain thing that you definitely go to buy from B&M? Drop me a note in the comments. I'd be really interested to hear from you all. And what was your best bit from the haul that I've done today? So yeah, drop us a comment, subscribe, give us a like, and we'll see you next week on the next exciting videos from The Brownie Life. So See you next time. Bye.